We've shipped a bunch of new features at Dreamflow, so let's take a look. First, we've shipped a whole new properties panel. Now, the properties panel is one of the most used parts of Dreamflow. It's where you configure, style, and fine tune every widget in your app. And today, we're excited to walk you through the new properties panel, a ground up rebuild that makes property editing faster and more intuitive. The new properties panel introduces bespoke editors for tons of property types. Colors get pickers with theme integration, numbers get dragged to adjust scrub controls, Complex types like padding, alignment, and shadows get visual interfaces that show you exactly what you're changing. It's property editing that finally feels native to each data type. So let's take a look. Okay, let's open up my properties panel right here. And I want to go into my profile here. And I've got this image that I want to change the fit right here. And down here, I've got this new UI that recognizes enums. And I want to change it to cover. Yeah, that looks better. Next, I want to make this image a little bit bigger. So here, I when I hover over this property right here, you can see I've got a couple of new options right here. I can clear the value, set it to infinity or set it to a theme variable. So when I bring that up, I have all of my theme variables that are coming from my theme module right here that I can bind these to. Or if I want to make this a little bit bigger, let's just scrub a little bit. I think like 160 will be about good. Yeah, that's good. And then I'll just copy this value over right here. Okay, that's great. But now that I'm looking at this, I realize this is slightly overkill and we've got a perfectly good widget for this, the avatar widget. So I'm actually going to come up to my stack right here. And in my list of widgets, I'm going to, in my new editor right here, I'm just going to, I want to switch out that clip oval right here, change the clip oval with an avatar widget. Now, sometimes this will make the modification in line, or if it's a larger task, it will delegate it over to the agent right here. Okay, great. And there it did it. And it kept the path, which is cool. Next, I want to make a change to this guy right here. So let me zoom in a little bit and I'm going to select it right here. And I want to give it a little border and we've got a new color picker right here. So you can grab a color right here. See your recently used ones. We also show you if you're on a color that closely matches is one from your design system, you can apply it. Here are all your theme colors right here. And we provided some out of the box theming palettes for Material, Cupertino, and Tailwind. So I'm just going to go to my theme right here and give it a slight border right there. And I want it to be, um, okay, great. That looks good. I also want to take a look at this icon right here because we've got some new conditional UI that's helpful. So if we open up the code right here, you can see that we've got a ternary operator. We've got some nice UI here for. So we're checking for the is positive value. And if it's true, we come in here and we can select this icon, which is another one of our new UIs. And if it's false, we use this icon right here. We also have this UI for null coalescing operators. If you want to introduce shadows, you have a new shadow UI that allows us to add multiple shadows. So if we come in here, we can see that we've got a bunch of different recently used shadows. And so if we select one right here, you see that we can stack multiple shadows on top of one another, which makes for some really elegant UI. Finally, we have new UI for common modifiers like padding. So here we can switch to symmetric or individual or back to all. If we want to add an alignment, we've got a nice alignment UI and expansion. Next, we shipped a whole new theme module. The new theme module provides intelligent LLM powered theme parsing. So this doesn't rely on hard coded patterns, but instead uses an LLM to intelligently understand your theme structure. This means it works with standard material themes, custom theme classes, and any other theme organization pattern. So once it understands it, you can visually edit colors, typography, and style constants. So let me show you how it works. To access the new theme module, come over here and click on this theme editor right here. You can see all the theme variables and their types populated. Now, when you click into each one of these values, you can see what it's populated with. You can select the colors, you can change them. You can see whether it's dark, but light and you can switch that here or switch that here and it's synced with your app so you can see it in the context of the application of your design. Now notice here that the new theming system is type aware so it understands what's typography, what's colors, padding values and much more. And when you want to apply these values, let's come in here. Let's wrap this with padding. 
you can come into this value right here and apply the value that you want. Now for this project, if you go in and take a look at our theme, we have all of our theming in one file, but this theme module is intelligent. So in this project, I've got a different theme architecture. So if I look in here, I've got a theme folder with different files for colors, dark theme, light theme, and typography. And when I come in here, you can see that it's recognized a structure and it's able to pull in all the values. And I'm able to apply these values in the same way that I would with any other structure. Finally, we've made multiple updates to our agent. Dreamflow now supports agents.md rules. Agents.md has become the industry standard model for directing agents. It was created by a collaboration between OpenAI Codex, AMP, Jewels from Google, Cursor, and Factory, and is now overseen by the AI Agentic Foundation. Agents.md is like a readme for your agents, a dedicated, predictable place to provide the context and instructions to help AI coding agents work on your project. It defines your code basis patterns, conventions, and architectural decisions in one place, and the agent will follow them when generating and modifying code. Here's how you set it up. In order to get started with Agents.md, you can just come down here to Rules, and when I select select it here, I can auto generate this file. It'll ask the agent to generate this and the agent will scan your project to understand the code base so that it can intelligently compose this file. Great, it's created this file. So let's open it up. We've got a project overview, architectural patterns, and let's see here, file structure, code style. Yeah, this is great. This will help your agent be much more consistent and higher quality in its generations. Also, we've added Gemini 3.0 Flash, a super fast, cost efficient, and high quality coding model. Remember that all the models are down here in this menu, so you can just open it up and select it. Those are the updates for this December. Leave us any questions you have below and we'll see you in the next video.